guys. Thanks for coming to the channel. Thanks for checking out this video. It's Sunday at 7 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, I may change the video to come out to a Wednesday at 7.30 in the evening. Uh, I haven't decided yet, but uh, I'm going to put this one up on Sunday, as like I said. Uh, and I'm guessing the next one will be on Sunday as well. I have got a very special review for you today. Um, I, I've always said I don't have a lot of lightsabers. And what I mean by that is I don't have a single lightsaber that I use. Uh, I don't have any lightsabers that I go to every day or display anywhere. I, I literally just don't have any around the house. I don't have any. I have them in the workshop. Um, but but that's it. Um, but I do have lightsabers that I have not created. Um, and I have a very, very special one for you uh, today. This is a lightsaber that I've been trying to that I had been trying to find for about four years. And it had to be a very specific lightsaber. Um, one of the best lightsabers I've ever seen in the franchise from the original six films. Um, was Count Dooku's lightsaber? I just, I, I just loved it. the The elegance of the curves in the hilt, the grip, the two tone color. So you have the black rubber section into the metal. It was a ah, oh, it was just gorgeous. Um, Ultra sabers I have seen over the years, or the last three or four years. Ultra sabers have released their version of it and it is beautiful i mean the hilt is nice and small it's not a huge cumbersome size uh it's just it looks exactly like the one in the film i mean it's just it for lack of a better word it's perfect uh but to get that with sound with a near picture i mean the the cost on that i think it's like when i looked it was like 600 pounds um and then um it, now it must be like seven eight hundred pounds but in my opinion, if you've got the money and you don't mind spending the money, it's worth it. I mean, it's, it's very hard to find two specific types of lightsaber. One is the Count Dooku. The other one is Emperor Palpatine's. Um, and Emperor Palpatine's is just unbelievably nice. It, it's a, the, the main body of it um, so like, uh, curves in and gets thinner. Uh, with another gold section around it. It's just, oh, it's just gorgeous. Both of those are some of the nicest lightsabers I have ever seen in my life. Um, there is, uh, I have seen ad trailers or TikTok videos or Instagram videos for a uh, Palpatine, uh, but it's nothing like a Palpatine. It looks kind of like it, but it's a straight hilt with another another outer lay, outer coat uh, out, outer body um that is made to look the same but it's basically a straight hill and it's way bigger so palpatine's hill is is about that big it's literally big enough for one hand so it's about that big it's not huge at all uh, i'd say about six inches let's have a look let me get my ruler um no i'd actually i'd say palpatine's hill is about five inches in length uh, i was actually lucky enough to uh, someone selling um a lightsaber on eBay and it was gorgeous so I bought it and then uh, I uh, he said I've got other ones you know I said like, really what else have you got because I've got a Palpatine uh, with a really really top high-end install on it I was like right how much for that one and it was like 500 quid how much for the pair and it's like mm, I could do a deal I could do like 600 700 quid or something I'm not too sure and he sent it to me and I got it. Oh, it was a may. It was the nicest. It was really heavy. It was solid metal. But it was one of the nicest hilts ever. The install was it in on it was insane. The level of skill to do that install was the next level. Um, but unfortunately, it didn't work. I couldn't get it to work. I got in touch with him. I, I, we spoke for a while. I just couldn't get it to work. And regrettably and very grudgingly i had to send it back i was devastated when i had to do that it was such a shame but you know these these things happen um but i never stopped looking for count dooku and i did find one. Oh yeah i'm gonna show you it now and here it is this is a 2008 count dooku hasbro now when uh when the original films came out um 
it was very much a case of the technology at the time wasn't amazing. The lightsabers that came out were... They looked like lightsabers, to an extent, uh, but they um, they really weren't anything, anything like what we have now. Because the tech just wasn't good enough. I mean, this is like back in the 1970s. Um, I, this is just... It is beautiful. But then when the prequels came out, uh, obviously George Lucas approached Hasbro, who were doing the products for uh, products and all that sort of thing, and said, look, I really want what we have in these films. I want realistic, hands-on lightsabers that light up, the blade fully lights up, and it looks amazing, and I want it to be just like in the films. And Hasbro got to work, they did a Darth Vader, they did a Luke Skywalker, uh, and they did a Count Dooku. I think they did they did a, a Mace Windu as well. So they did a number of them. But to get the Count Dooku a 2008 is so incredibly hard to do. And I, every time I see one, they have always, always been over £500, regardless of where or when you get them. Um, and they're so rare and so hard to find. You can get Count Dooku's. You know, like I said, you can go to Ultra Sabres. I'm sure Padawan Outpost will most probably do one, and a number of other places will most probably do a Count Dooku. But to get a original 2008 Count Dooku with fully functioning blade that still works with sound and everything is incredibly hard to find and incredibly rare. If you found one and you got one, congrats, well done, man. It took me two to three, maybe even four years of looking just for that one moment where... Uh, I could actually get. Uh, can I show you the base? It's it's kind of hard to read. You can, I don't know if you can make it out there. 2008 Lucas Films. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you manage to find one, then good on you. Um, this is obviously it's 2008. The LEDs aren't as good as they used to be. Uh, I have got brand new batteries, it, but the blade is very very dull. Uh, which is a shame. Unfortunately, in the colour spectrum of visible light, red is the hardest colour to see. Uh, it's uh, lumens are uh, actually considerably lower than blue and green. So when you see... Um, uh, the, the other wonderful thing about a red LED is um, a lot of cameras uh, have trouble picking up red. So... It, that's why you usually see that it's kind of like whited out or oranged a lot um, and it doesn't truly represent the actual colour that is being produced by the LEDs because camera lenses just or camera sensors have a lot of trouble with pure red colours apart from my background which it seems to have no issue with so fingers crossed this will work uh, but it is a very old lightsaber and it's not as bright as it once was when it was new i am going to turn it on for you i'm going to, what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to pull the blind so it gets a little bit darker and i'm going to turn the light off and then i'm going to turn it on so it actually will look um you'll be able to see the blade as in the most optimum um setup possible so i'll be one second Okay, the picture quality is harder to see because it's basically the light of my monitor illuminating me. Here we go, guys. I'm going to turn it on for you. It looks, I mean, to be honest, the, uh, it does, now it's completely dark in here. Well, not completely, but it's very dark in here. Uh, the red is, it's popping, man. It is absolutely popping. And I'll tell you what, you might not see this in pure daylight. Uh, I don't think you could see it in pure daylight. Um, but in a dark room, you, it's, it's very visible. You can see it clearly. All the LEDs are working in this, which is why I, I got it. Um, it's still got the flash and clash. It's, it's very it's responsive. So, yeah, it is, it's good. It's really good. I, oh, it took so long to find this. But for this blade to still kick ass, since 2008. I mean, Jesus, 2008, man. That is, that is a long, long time. And this has been kicking ass since 2008. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll just turn this off and... 
I mean, it still does the whole. I don't. Um, let me see. The, so it still lights up from the from the base all the way to the tip, and from the tip all the way down again. Still works. Still absolutely one hundred percent functional. Let me uh, let me turn the lights back on. But yeah, I mean, guys, this thing is just. The, the fact that it still works perfectly well after all these years is phenomenal. Um, the the blade, it, it's kind of hard to tell. The the blades when these were made and were brand new were completely pure white. Uh, a lot of people actually bought these and had they came with a, a really nice display stand. A lot of people would buy these and they would have them um, sat in the bedroom wind uh, in the bedroom or in the living room. You know, multiple places. Um, and over the time, the sunlight would yellow the white blade. Um, some, the, the yellowing, I'll be honest, the yellowing on this one is actually very, very good. Um, it hasn't yellowed half as much as some other ones that I have seen. Um, so, I mean, for that, it, that's just a huge thing in itself. Uh, this has been kept in a box for a long time. I've kept it in its box for a hell of a long time as well. And guys, this thing is, it's just, oh, I love it. It is so nice. All the rubber is still perfect as the day it was made and fitted. There's almost, well, I, okay, I'll rephrase. I can't see any visible scratches to the, um, to the chrome. And one of the things that happened with these was the chrome got damaged a lot. Uh, it also got chipped uh, and it didn't age very well. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of these didn't age very well. Um, the the blades, these are polycarbonate. Um, I'm not sure what thickness they are. I would guess they're about a 1mm or 1.5mm wall thickness, which is very thin. And then you've got the strip of LEDs running inside all the way to the, uh, all the, way to the tip. Um, but for this to be in this good a state, this good a condition is incredibly rare. Um, it is just magnificent. I am so glad I managed to find this. I think this was a long time ago now. This was at least three or four years ago. Uh, I think it cost me around £300. I think it's worth considerably, considerably more than that now. Um, in four in four years time this is going to be 20 years old people don't even have cars that old this is older than three generations of car that somebody may have I mean TVs people don't have TVs this old or fridge freezers this old I can't think of one object in a person's house that would be older than this to be nearly 20 years old is insane so, but yeah, this is a 2008 Count Dooku. It is just gorgeous. I mean, <clears throat> oh, just look at that. You, you can't, it's, oh. I would love, absolutely love to get hold of um, the Ultra Sabres one, fully kitted out, top spec, and do a comparison between these two. If there's somebody out there that has an Ultra Sabres uh, Count Dooku and is happy for me to borrow it to do a comparison between the two, by all means let me know. I will quite happily pay for the shipping to send back to you. Uh, I, if you want me to name drop who you are, I can do. It's not a problem. Um, but they are rare. It is just oh, absolutely stunning. And this is a lightsaber I've always wanted to make. But unfortunately, guys, it's not one I can make. Uh, I can do this section, but this part is what I can't replicate uh, by hand. But yeah, they uh, they knocked it out of the park. It is a little thicker in the handle than I would like it to be. It would be nice if it was, um, I think this is about 35, 40 mil diameter. Uh, it would be nice if it was around uh, 35, uh, which Sabre Forge is. Sabre Forge have got theirs to a very realistic, very real um di uh, diameter on their uh, on their version and it just looks amazing um one thing i've always been gutted about i always wish this was actually the button that worked this is just a dummy button uh, this is a dummy button the actual on off button is just here 
uh, and you slide it up to turn on and you slide it down to turn off and you can you can still see the you can still see the red blade so even in this light with a full window full light coming in you can still see that the blade is turned on so yeah uh absolutely stunning stunning lightsaber just oh it's so nice so i hope you like this episode um i am hoping in the next couple of weeks to be able to get back to building things uh fingers crossed touch wood so if you did like the video please put your comments below please give it a thumbs up let your friends know about the channel and i'll see you all most probably on sunday at seven o'clock next week <laughs> see you later guys